I think a lot of people think aftercare is cuddling, especially like inside of inside of the world of kink. But in general, can you define aftercare for like all of our listeners? Here's my definition of aftercare: is that which each individual, all the individuals, and each individuals require to achieve equilibrium. That which you need to achieve equilibrium. So your aftercare, my aftercare, their aftercare is going to be different because what do we need for achieving equilibrium? In other words, a we, and then be able to come back to, to uh, your everyday. Coming back to the everyday is important because if we try to maintain the high point and stay there, oh. and we can't sustain that. If we hit the low and not given an opportunity to become whole or to achieve equilibrium, it's like it's like a mental, emotional hangover that doesn't go away that's mm-hmm. paired with guilt. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You, I was like, you just described bipolar. Like, it's just that, like, super, super high, high, high versus the super, super low, low, low. And, like, no, um, like, the the drop is hard. Like, yeah, yeah. it's hard. Um, no, go ahead. So the cuddling thing, the cuddling, the blanket, talking, that that somehow got to, got passed along as good aftercare. But is it good aftercare if my... My skin is so sensitive that you touch me, I just like freak out. Uh-huh. Or maybe I need quiet and and you think that I, I need to be talking. And if I'm not talking and I'm quiet, there's something wrong with me. And, and maybe I'm having a bad time. No, I'm just... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Th- that is so real. Oh, wow. Um, okay, so I do want to talk a bit about how drop is like, it is inside and outside of kink, like we talked about non kinks, we even talked about like, marathons and like all these different things.